Hi, I'm Wanda Jefferson, and I'm here today again with author Susan Murphy Milano. Hi, Susan. And we're here with the Defending Our Lives series, the DYL series. And I wanted to touch base a little bit today, Susan, on uh, the neighbor, the neighbors and or community. If they know that a person is in a domestic uh, violent situation, what should a person do? I know a lot of times people don't want to get involved. So what would you suggest for a person that may hear, you know, a lot of commotion, they hear the screams, or uh, they know that something's going on, and it's been going on for a while. What would a person do uh, that may not want to get involved? What would you suggest that they do uh, to assist a person that may be in need of help? I think that we have to reverse it. If that were you, you'd want somebody to help you, and oftentimes a neighbor comes to your home, maybe over coffee, or you can see maybe bruises on them, or you can hear noises. The first thing you do if you hear a fight or, or there's a situation is you go ahead and dial 911. That's not going to come back on you. No one's going to say, well, the neighbor next door called Joe Smith. Um, you need to also know that if there is a situation and the person turns up missing, you could probably be the person that would be able to help with information to authorities to, to possibly locate or locate or give a history of what has taken place, especially if the woman is married to somebody who might be a public official or in law enforcement. You're not getting not involved. How could you not? You have to get involved. You have to pay attention. We've seen of late in these recent cases where neighbors are providing information. They are providing timelines to situations. That is, vi that is very important. We often see that when somebody pa tragically passes, that no one heard, no one saw, and all you hear out of the neighbors is they were lovely, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Please. Get involved, get help. If that were yourself or your daughter or your relative or your mother or your sister, you would want someone to be able to step forward, just like in an accident where no one comes and reports what they have seen or what they have heard. Mm -hmm. It's very important. If you need further assistance, please contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE, and they'll be able to give you some tips and resources on how you can help that neighbor or loved one in your community. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. They may save someone's life. That's right. Right. Thank you very much. I'm Wanda Jefferson with Defending Your Life, the DYL series.